my man George Zaharoff sent me a package in the mail. Here it is here. We're gonna open it up and talk about it. So stay right there. Back to doing another video. Sam Broom. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back here with another video. Check this out now. Listen, I have another package that came today. You can see that Z. George Zaharoff did it again. Came out with another fragrance. I'm assuming that's what's in this package. Haven't opened it yet. I sliced the box. About to get ready to open it. Before we do that though, and run through it, I need you guys to do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe. Again, like, comment, subscribe. It ain't gonna cost you a dime to do either one of those. All right, but I need you guys to do that. I need you to comment down below. I need you to stay active, man. I might not reply, but I do read all of them, okay? Do me that favor again. Like, comment, subscribe. Now, what you here for? You've seen the thumbnail. My man George Zaharoff came out with another fragrance. And again, I'm assuming that that's what's in this package right here. But before we get into that package, we're just gonna run down and I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna really go through all the notes. I'm gonna show you the lineup that he has so far. All right, so first he came out with the original OG. Zaharoff signature pour on boss type of scent that was the first one all right here's a presentation all the same has that plaque there but there's a juice there all right signature pour on CEO scent then he came out with two other new fragrances Noir and Royale Noir more of a date night scent to me, and Royale is more of a special occasion, all, all occasions type of scent. But mainly to me, special occasions. And I'm gonna tell you why. I wore this on my goddaughter's funeral. And it just felt right to wear this. It just had that feeling. Sometimes you go through fragrances or you have fragrances in your collection that you just, you know it fits certain situations and that was one. But here's Noir, all right? That nice purple juice with that that gray cap, loving it. Then his Royale with the gold cap, all right? Lovely scent. So George didn't stop there, all right? George had it in his mind. And if you know George, like I do, George loved reviewers, man. He loved the reviewers. He always told me in particular, like, we are the backbone of the fragrance community. Let me say it a little bit easier for you. We can make a fragrance in the community game. I'm talking about the community, the fragrance community. We can make a fragrance go as far as we want or as bad as we want, all right? That's how much power we have. George knows that. That's why he tries his best to make sure he includes us in these fragrances. So he reached out to like three so far. He reached out to the three that we know of and it came out with these fragrances. You have Ross Carlos, came out with, in collaboration with George, came out with Business Over Pleasure, a nice Irish-based scent. Very good for office. I got great longevity out of it. Um, I like wearing that for the office. Let me show you what the, what the bottle looks like. You got that sky blue. That light, that light blue or light gray juice. He also came out with Brass and Soul, and this is from uh, Justin Copeland. All right, nice overall decent scent. All right, not the best in longevity, but I don't think he want or or not the best in projection, and I don't think Justin was going for that. Um, he seems to me. I don't, I don't know him personally, but to, to me, he seems more of a more laid back, casual type of guy. But the top of this damn thing is probably one of the best tops I ever, I ever smelled. That orange note or that citrus note at the top. 
is lovely, man. It's probably one of the best in the game. No lie. All right. Brass and Soul. Justin Copeland. And then lastly, in the talk of all the Z creators, this one here, the Siren. It's definitely going to get some work for the winter. But this is a nice fragrance, man. This is, this is the gem of all. Or the one that everybody talks about. It's the depth and the complexity of this fragrance right here. Unbelievable, man. She came out with something fierce. This is dope. This is some dope juice right here. Sick. All right. The Siren. And George had to get in on that. That Zach created this thing. One of his own. And this one is Signature Rose. You're talking about rose on top of rose on top of rose. That's what you got of this one here, right? Signature Rose. This one here. It's got, they got that nice pink or reddish cap to that one as well all right lovely scent very good scent i like it because i'm a rose type of dude i love rose and fragrances he didn't stop there george decided that he was gonna come up with another fragrance and i already seen a bunch of fragrance reviewers out there that have it already mainly my, bro my brother ross ross had it just to have it already or had it or have it and they talk highly of it. So again, I'm assuming that's what's in this box. So let's open this up and see what's in it. All right. All right, I'm not gonna show you. This is the shipping receipt right here. And as always with George, I'm sorry, I dropped it. George also puts a signature or his personal touch on these cards, all right? He signs each and every one of them that he sends out to us. Hmm. I'm not going to read this to you guys. This is a little personal to me, man. But George is a good dude, man. George is a solid, solid guy. All right, let's go. And yes, it is. Yes, it is. I have to drop that box. Yes, it is. It's signature to Beck. Oh my God, this bottle is so ill, man. This bottle is so ill. Wow. Damn, it's nice. Super nice. So I'm gonna I'm run down the notes to you, okay? Top, cognac, lavender, rum, star anise, and Davina. I think it's the Davina from India, the lavender from South France, and in the mid you got gold honey, blonde cedar from Virginia, temple oud from Indonesia, tobacco leaf from the USA, pimento leaves from Jamaica, fir blossom from Canada, and in the base you got sandalwood from Australia. Plum, black amber, myrrh from Ethiopia, frankincense from Ethiopia, vanilla from Madagascar, and tonka bean. This is a 60 mil bottle, that's what it comes in. 60 mil bottles, and it's going for 140 bucks. You can get it from Zaharov.com. Right, I'll try to leave the link in the description below. But that's where you can get this fragrance from. Similarities to the top, I mean to the main or the original. You have lavender, the blonde cedar, the temple oud, the pimento leaves, fir balsam, sandalwood, the black amber, myrrh, and frankincense. That's the similarities that this fragrance have with the, the original. Let's see what I get. Let me get my scent strip. I'm not gonna be before you long. All right, so let's get into the smell of it, all right? Three sprays. Oh yeah, this is nice. Oh yeah. This is, this is really nice, man. I'm getting a sweet honey note. A leafy tobacco. Oh, that myrrh and that vanilla, the tonka bean, that is so, so nice. 
damn. Holy shit. Mm. Gotta get this on the skin. Oh yeah. I got a boozy note at the top from the rum and the cognac with some spices. Almost like a cinnamon base, but that's that's just I think that's the star anise. But you're getting that sweet honey, the rum note, the cognac notes, that boozy feel to it. It almost has a top like um I'm 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 looking at Bentley Intense for man. But this is much smoother. And that tobacco though is much more present. It's, it's that don't have tobacco. This has tobacco, and this is this is out there. This is it's not a loud tobacco. It's a very very light tobacco, but it's really noticeable. But I love that plum and that tonka bean and vanilla note that's inside of this. This is so nice. This is another one that might just be like special occasion type of thing here. This is this is nice. I gotta have my wife smell this. This is so nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just give you a little look at the bottle again. Man, I like this. Show you the back of the bottle as well. And I heard that that um, George is getting more into the. He's coming out with cigars as well. I'm not. I'm not a smoker, so. Yeah, that's nice. Damn, that's nice. Like I said, I'm not gonna be before you long, but this is this is something you definitely want to try. Go on George's website, try it, cause a lot of people don't like tobacco or boozy notes. But this is nice. This is really really smooth. It's got that again. It's a sweetness to it, but it has the boozy notes and the tobacco and the plum. All that's inside it. You can you get almost every note. But it's blended very well. Oh. Damn. Yeah, this is probably the best tobacco fragrance I have in my collection. Or one of them at least. This is super nice. Damn, George did it again. Signatures to back by Zaharoff. Get your nose on it. It's your boy Sam Broom. Signing off. Peace. Back to doing another video.